So usually with the instructors that they have, they'll kind of encourage us or like push us to go to like the best extent that we could go to. When we got to a point where like Monty and Mike had to call it and be like, we have to go online, that's where I kind of panicked. I kind of realized it was like, oh, this is really getting bad. I started uh, college in 2009 for pre-med. Uh, I moved to education as my primary uh, career, but always had a fascination in medicine. So uh, after John and Volunteer Heart Ambulance about a year ago, I seeing all the trucks go out and all the crews going out, I was like, up, oh, it's about time. For a while, um, it took a bit to kind of find the inspiration to want to be an EMT. I was always around Volunteer Heart Ambulance, so I was always around EMTs. People would talk about it, so it kind of sparked, I guess, something in me. Um, and being in the company already, I was like, I'm already here, and I see what great things these people are able to do. So I kind of wanted to hop on that train, and I started EMT school. It was definitely t challenging. If you ask anyone, I do not have the best attention span. So I think just maintaining the focus, maintaining um, the desire and like understanding what the real goal of it was, I think that was difficult because even with doing skills, I would have friends that would help me, but I would get so discouraged if I didn't get it. So I needed a lot of that motivation just to finish through with the class. And it, w it was a rough few months, I'm not gonna lie. I have to say that one of the challenges was filming ourselves with practicals uh, and then having to wait for that feedback, not knowing whether, oh, did I mess up? Did I not mess up? You don't have that immediate feedback. I think a lot of it paid off. Um, unfortunately, some of my classmates weren't able to make it through. So I think just looking back at that and understanding like what the job really entails, I definitely feel proud that I was able to like finish through and, un and you know pass my exams and do well with skills. And now I'm able to put everything together when I go on a truck. So like it all kind of pieces together and the hard work definitely paid off. Becoming an EMT, I actually it now shows in my regular job as well as everyone else as what strain uh, the EMS fields and medical fields go through, and not just only oh yeah that's their job they do this, but to actually have the hands-on feel of exactly what they go through day in and night, I do have a, a appreciation more for them now. I mean, this pandemic definitely brought out a lot of negativity, but it also brought out a lot of positives in a sense that like a lot of the EMTs that I do know, I'm able to like take what they do and really value that, okay, they're putting their lives on the line to help someone else. And now as someone that just got into the field, I'm able to do the same thing. So I think it's a cool feeling, but also there's a lot of appreciation that goes into it.